Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. We're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now keep in mind this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, so it looks like here, this is someone that they could live with you, but they don't have to be living with you, but they're basically at home, just kind of sitting there, focusing on that stability at home, relocating, whatever it is, working towards building that, manifesting, creating, trying to figure out some things of what they want to do. Something happens under like a cult divinatory type stuff or their own spiritual paths and beliefs where there's a lot of anger and aggression and confusion and frustration that they have towards you and or there's a fight or an argument i don't know if they plan it on or not um for the sake of having to make things to literally rekindle things from the past and create new love here with you and towards you or the reason why they're treating you the way they do is because one they're in love with you or they're in love with someone else and or they want to be single okay um, because there's something here about the like the past for them and that's where they want an opportunity and they feel new love and that's what they're waiting on and trying to figure out what to do and planning and it puts them you know makes them feel pretty confident about the situation. So that fast though they go through a very shocking awakening that's pretty painful for them and they understand what their life is going to look like and all the changes they have to make because of it and all the, all the decisions that they have to do which makes them want to still plan and kind of figure out what to do about this because either it's about you and or someone completely different outside of the both of you for some of you it could be marriage relationships you know pregnancy them you know planning and figuring all that out but it's also about their own level of success and wealth and status and that's where there's a lot of pain and depression so either or of all those things i've listed that's where they're going through a lot and feeling a lot of pain. But they know they have to keep working on this and keep approaching and doing this little by little each day. And so that's what causes them to feel just in, immediately disconnected emotionally here from you. And that fast, either have a crush or, you know, have feelings or have, you know, romance for someone else and or, you know, they just feel disconnected by, you know, from you, but it makes them happy to be disconnected and walk away and not care for you either or. I don't know. or because they know something. But it looks like here that they do make peace with the situation and they understand where you come from in the situation where they do what the situ what's going on here. And so they do have a love and a contentment with you and towards you. They still want to be kind and you know loving, nice and friendly here. And they still want to work on this with you, whatever this is, and or collaborate and work with you. For the sake of money, business, wealth, abundance, creating all this stuff here with you for the, you know, for a new passionate beginning, um, you know, new chapters and new things. And that's what makes them kind of feel relaxed and it makes them feel happy here, you know. And so they choose to stay in this marriage or commitment or relationship with you. Um, this could be family for some of you here or for some reason, it's something about their own relationship, marriage, or family, you know, outside of you, either or. That's what causes them to just get extremely guarded for whatever reason and have to put their walls up. So 
So they go completely cold here towards you for whatever reason. And I guess it's for the sake of wanting, you know, positive changes to have happen here. And so they choose to do something extremely toxic here with you and or towards you, which is for some of you is to cheat on you and or maybe cheat with you either either or here because it's kind of like there's something toxic and you know that they're doing here they're choosing to they're going to be this way they're unfaithful it's about the friendship marriage re marriage or relationship whatever's going on here the connection um which they still choose to want to be committed they still choose to want to have everything here with you while they're also having someone else on the side and doing all that stuff or it's drugs it's drinking it's smoking excessively Either or, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of marriage, mar marital family dynamics, slash like third party crazy mess type of stuff. Because no matter what, this person is still going to choose to be extremely deceptive here towards you. They want to, they like to be. And so I, I feel like this is just someone that's given up and doesn't care anymore. Okay. Um, there were cards that were flipping around here. Yeah, and so all that and then for them to be feel burdened and feel stressed out and know that now they don't know what to do because there's there's a lot going on and they have to end it now and drop things here, you know, with with them, with themselves, their own life, with you, and it's a lot for them to have to deal with and handle and take care of now here. But it looks like here that that's what causes them. Them having to drop this burden gets them really aggressive and really mean and pissed off and cold towards you and and or confused and so they go cold but it makes them feel happy and confident to excuse me want to passionately pursue and start drama and conflicts and battles and fighting with you again for the sake of money business excuse me ideas and investments okay so they do it for fun but it's also to hang on to you know it's to continue building or having the money whatever it is here Okay, but it looks like here that they do hang on to all of this and still keep building and trying to work on this. And that fast, they end up going to counseling therapy. They try to figure out what to do. Guidance, you know, they keep to themselves. They stay with who they're with or with you if it's marriage, relationship stuff. Um, and stay focused on their job, their business, what they have to do. They do end up trying to research, study, spy, or get information about the situation with them and you. And they hear enough or see enough to just finally be done with you and close out the cycle. For good and um they are scared it makes them pretty fearful and scared and stuck and restricted in the situation but they still want to at least be nice and equal with you especially when it's in regards to finances and that's it okay so you could be dealing with a an aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio virgo taurus capricorn gemini leave aquarius thank you bye